and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have another recipe uh, based off of the braised chicken recipe we did not too long ago. This is pot pie, and we're using some of the leftovers from our braised poulet grand mare that we did a couple of weeks ago. And we're also using our homemade pie crust. We'll uh, link both of those in the description below. And this is an amazing, rich, delicious pot pie, and here's our ingredients. So we're starting off, we've got some pie dough. And we have some of the brassage, some of the liquid from our poulet grand mare, and some of the chicken. So this is the chicken that we cooked. We're using some parsley, some celery, some frozen peas, some thyme, some potatoes, although we're going to do something a little different with those, uh, a carrot, some mushrooms, and then to make our roux, we're using some butter and some flour. Now, this is a recipe that is thickened with roux. That's what helps it to sort of keep its shape once it's in the pie. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the skin off of the chicken because we want to fry it. We want to make it nice and crispy and add a lot of flavor to it. So we're going to take the skin off of the chicken. This is the braised chicken that we did in the white wine uh, in the uh, Poulet Grand Mare video. And we're just going to pop these into a pan. And uh, we're just going to let them get nice and crispy. So you want to get them uh, crispy, nice and flat. And we're going to chop that up and add it to our uh, pie later for more flavor. Meanwhile, we are going to chop up our mushrooms. And get our veggies ready as well. So while that chicken skin is getting nice and crispy, we are going to chop up the celery. And you can really do this however you want. If you want big pieces of celery, if you want to be able to see the celery cross section, make it a little bit more sort of rustic, then, I mean, cut it into big pieces like this. If you want it to really disappear into the dish, then cut it smaller. It's really up to you. For the carrots, we're also going to cut them a little bit big, so we're going to cut the smaller part of the carrot into rounds and the rest of it into half rounds. Now these are going to cook. We're going to cook these before they end up in the pie, so they will end up fairly soft, but uh, the bigger you cut them, the more sort of bite they're going to have in the end. So as you can see, we're using a plate just to keep everything nice and flat and, and not curled up in the pan. And you can see they're getting a lot of nice color on one side. You can always scrape up any little bits that are getting stuck to your pan and just put that plate back on. We're just going to let those uh, cook a little bit more and get crispy on both sides. And here you go. They've got a lot of color on them now. They're a little bit dark. Be careful picking up that plate. It can be very, very hot. You can see it just sizzling away in there. They're beautiful and crispy at this point. They're really, really well done. Uh, there's one little corner on this one. You can see Chef Caleb is trying to get a little bit extra color on that one corner that uh, seems still a little bit uh, undercooked, but this one looks completely done. So just put set these aside on a uh, paper towel to drain for a little while, and we'll deal with these a little bit later. So we're going to add a little bit of uh, butter to that really flavorful chicken fat because, I mean, we, we braised that chicken in white wine and all those beautiful herbs. So it's got a lot of flavor. We're going to use that uh, chicken fat for sure. Adds a little bit of the butter to it, and we're going to cook our mushrooms in this. Really, really doubling down on that flavor of the chicken. And, of course, those mushrooms are just going to soak all of that uh, oil up because they're mushrooms. They're like little sponges, and they're going to absorb all of that and... Uh, take on a lot of that flavor while they're getting flavor of their own from getting browned in the pan. We're just going to add a little bit of uh, black pepper to this. And you can see they've already shrunk down quite a lot. They're already getting a little bit of color to them. And Chef Kale is going to give it a flip. And oh, look at that fantastic color on there. There's a lot of flavor in there. Uh, so don't be afraid to let your mushrooms get a little bit of color. Now, once those are done, we're just going to set them aside for a little while uh, while we get the rest of our cooking uh, done. And we're going to add these in when we're ready to uh, add everything together. So, rest of the butter goes into the pan. And we're going to start sauteing our, our veggies in here. So, uh, get that butter in there and get it nice and melted. And this is going to form the basis of our roux. But we also want to use that oil to cook the vegetables. So what we're going to do is uh, get that butter melted and then add the carrots and celery. And we're going to let these cook for a little while before we make the roux on the vegetables. Just to give them a little bit of a head start because we do want them to be uh, cooked quite a lot. We want them to be mostly soft with a little bit of bite left before they go into the pie. But uh, we definitely do want to give them a head start. A little pinch of salt. 
just to make sure uh, that everything's well seasoned. Meanwhile, we're going to get our chicken ready for, uh, for the recipe. So we're going to chop up that crispy, crispy chicken skin. And we're just going to get that into nice little pieces and we're going to sprinkle it through. And every time you get one, it's going to be this nice little crispy bit of flavor in your final pie. And we're just going to set that aside with the cooked mushrooms. And then we're going to do the same with the chicken meat. So we're just going to take the chicken off the bone. Now these, again, were uh, bone in, skin on thighs. So they have that one big bone right down the middle. We're just going to take the meat off the bone. And you can really cut the chicken to whatever size you want. It really depends, once again, whether you want it to be a little bit more rustic or a little bit more refined. If you don't mind having big chunks of chicken, that's fine. If you'd prefer to have it all in pretty small pieces, that's okay too. What, whatever you prefer, honestly. Cutting up your chicken's a great time to find if there's any little uh, bits of cartilage or bone or anything uh, in your chicken. And there we go. We're, we're going to leave it uh, uh, a little bit uneven. That way you get a little bit of variety in your, uh, in your pie. And we're just going to set that aside until it's ready to go. Meanwhile, our veggies are pretty close to being cooked, so we're going to add the flour, and we want to cook this roux down until the flour doesn't taste raw anymore. So we're just going to add the flour in there, give it a good stir to make sure that the flour and the butter combine well. There you go, you can see the flour is just absorbing the butter and it's making the roux on the vegetables. This is a perfectly fine way to do this. Uh, there's gonna be a little bit of extra moisture from the veggies, of course, but uh, the basic ingredients of the flour and the butter cooking together are going to be here. And uh, it's gonna go through the same stages as a normal roux, so don't you don't have to uh, worry about doing anything special for this. Now we want to keep it uh, pretty blonde. We don't want it to cook very far. So once it stops the foaming stage and the flour is all the way cooked, we're going to start adding some little bits of the uh, brassage into this. So some of that beautiful braising liquid from the chicken, we're going to add some of that in here until we get the consistent, consistency we want. And you can see here, uh, we're just adding it a little bit at a time and stirring it in until it is well uh, well combined and everything's blended together. This will stop you from getting any big lumps of uh, flour or anything like that. And you can see it's all still cooking together here. We're going to add our frozen peas. We just tossed those in the microwave for a very, very short time. Now I had shown you some potatoes in the opening shot. Uh, what we used instead for this was we had some leftover french fries from something that we had <laughs> ordered from takeout. And uh, we just chopped up the french fries and added them to this. So that was what we used for our potato in this. Now, if you don't have leftover french fries, of course, you can use potatoes from the Poulet Grand Mare or anything like that. And we're going to add that in just a little while. Now they're already cooked, so they just need to get uh, heated through. Meanwhile, we're going to get some herbs ready. So we're going to take some thyme off of the stems and also some, uh, some parsley. This is just regular flat leaf parsley. All of the amounts are going to be in the description below. And we just want to give this a nice little chop. Now again, this is something that you're going to be able to customize your flavor profile with. We wanted to use thyme because we used a lot of thyme in the original stew, in the original uh, Poulet Grand Mare. And we also wanted to add the parsley because it adds this beautiful green flavor. So now we're going to add in the mushrooms, the chicken skin, the herbs, as well as here's the french fries, and our chopped up chicken. Now at this point, none of this has to be cooked. It's all been pre-cooked, so it just needs to heat through. So we're just gonna stir that in together, and you can see how lovely and thick the, um, the basically the sauce is here. Uh, this is perfect. It's gonna keep its shape when you cut into your pie. We're just going to make sure that everything's well combined and then on a very low heat, just let everything come up to temperature and make sure that everything's heated all the way through. And while it's finishing that, we're going to get our 
pie crust ready. So we've divided that one uh, lump into two pieces, of course a smaller one for the top and a larger one for the, uh, for the base. And if you find that your pie crust is a little bit dried out, uh, ours was actually a little bit freezer burned, which uh, was a surprise to us, we just add a little bit of water on your hands and you can add it in and uh, just give it a little bit of extra hydration before you start working it too much. And you see Chef Caleb here is just adding, he got some water in his hands and he's just sort of massaging the dough with the water to give it a little bit extra hydration, a little bit more um, moisture inside uh, so that it's not quite so dried out and it will make it easier to work with and will prevent it from cracking as well. So there we go. So now we have our dough ready to go. We are going to take the base and we're just going to roll that out until it fits into our pie tin. And of course you can buy uh, pre-made pies, uh, pre-made pie crust and all that sort of thing. We're not going to show you the whole rolling process. You've seen this before. We're just going to uh, take that off on the rolling pin. And then drape it gently. As we got a little piece of herb stuck to the bottom of it there. And we're just going to drape it gently over our pie tin. And you just want to work that into the corners until it is uh, in full contact with the tin. And uh, don't worry about any excess around the edges. What you really want to worry about is whether it is fully inside in the corners and everything. I'm just going to trim any little bits of excess off the outside, and I'm sure you can find something to do with excess pie crust. You can make little um, cinnamon rolls out of it or whatever you like. I'm sure everyone has their own way to deal with those little bits of extra pie crust. So there we go. Our pie crust base is ready. Now this recipe does not require you to blind bake, blind bake so we're just going to... Uh, make our or roll out our the top of our crust here and we don't need to bake it or anything so we're just going to add the filling in there now this is not uh despite all the veggies in here it's not a very liquidy filling as you can see it's quite uh dry and that base uh the pie crust is going to cook all the way through it's going to get nice and crispy beneath and you don't have to worry about uh, about blind baking it or anything or you know docking it and baking it uh it's 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 just perfect the way it is. We're going to add our lid and once again you just want to make sure you've got everything well covered and you want good contact with the uh, pie crust and the filling. So we're just going to push it down a little tiny bit and we're going to once again just trim away the excess from the outside until that goes all the way around. And then we're going to take a fork and go all the way around the outside with the fork uh, and just sort of crimp it and seal it. Now this is to keep all of those uh, beautiful flavors in there and also to keep it from leaking too much. We are going to cook it on a baking sheet in case there are any leaks, so don't, uh, uh, I mean, you can trust it, but you should always cook over top of a baking sheet anyway. And then just push down the outside just to make sure. Last thing we need to do here is add a couple of little vents to let steam out, otherwise you get some uh, eruptions where you don't want them, so we're just going to cut some little slits in the top. And then just before it goes into the oven, we are going to add a little bit of egg wash. Now, we actually use, we had some leftover uh, egg mixture from the uh, Crostini Monsieur video we did, so this is flavored egg wash. This is egg wash with a little bit of thyme in it, and a little bit of milk. And this is all going to, thats you can use that as an egg wash if you like. It's, uh, it's just going to add a little bit of flavor. And into our preheated oven it goes. And once that's done, this is just about perfect. You can see it's gotten beautiful and golden on top. That egg wash has made everything nice and crispy. Everything's cooked all the way through. And then uh, here's Chef Caleb. He's cooking, cutting into it with a spoon. Probably not the easiest way to get it out, but uh, so there we go. And you can see when we bring it out, everything sort of holds in place, although it didn't cut all the way down to the bottom of the pie. It didn't actually stick to the bottom of the pan. We just didn't cut down quite far enough with the spoon. As you can see, it came away quite cleanly once he uh, 
once he removed it. So that's it. That's the uh, recipe for this beautiful chicken pot pie. Really, really delicious, uh, incredibly rich. Uh, whatever sort of leftover roasted or stewed chicken you have can go into this and you can just add the, the, the cooking liquid into a roux and make that beautiful thick sauce. So we hope you'll give this a try. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. Thank you.